So I'm sure you've seen plenty of YouTubers do it. I've always wanted to do it. So now I'm doing it. I'm making a no-zone. This is the Sabian B8 Pro 18-inch medium crash. I had it laying around and figured this was the perfect symbol for the project. Not really my kind of style of symbols. I'm more of a B20 bronze kind of guy. And I say that because majority of the symbols that I like are made out of B20 bronze. So I figured why not royally f screw this symbol up. I started off by drilling all of the pilot holes that I needed. I then moved on to the hole saw drill bit, which was a bit of a learning curve for me. I had never used one before this. And I did experience some trouble in the beginning, but towards the end I was able to get the hang of it and knock out all 12 holes. So after cutting the holes, I took the symbol back into the shop and used the Dremel to sand down all of the burrs and make sure the holes are no longer sharp. Excuse all of the mess and dust. 
I've been working on a lot of other projects and haven't had really much time to do any cleaning. So yeah. So I did what I always do for the next step. I put the drill in the vise and hooked the symbol up to the drill so I could sand through the grits while the symbol is spinning to get it ready for polishing. However, <laughs> with the symbol having holes in it, it made it very difficult to get a good sanding on it. And it was also pretty dangerous. <laughs> So seeing as the circumstances that I was dealing with, I decided to scratch that idea. I don't want to lose a finger, even though that would probably make this video go viral. But I like my fingers more than that. So I originally wanted a brilliant finish on the symbol, but seeing as how I couldn't do any more sanding, the polish wasn't going to come out all that great. So I decided to switch up techniques and hit the bottom of a symbol with a torch. Heating the top of the symbol, I got some pretty amazing colors. I was shooting for a light purple to dark purple color range. Certain spots I think I overheated a little too much and got a light blue, which in my opinion still came out really cool. Now, heating the symbol of course is going to change the tone, but so did drilling holes in it. So I figured why not royally f screw this symbol up. <laughs> I kind of realized after it was too late that a lot of the color the heat gave the symbol was able to be wiped off. If I'd have known that before, I would have sprayed it with a protective coating in hopes to keep the color on the symbol. So by the time I went to test out the symbol for the video, it already lost a lot of color. Well, there it is. This was my take on an ozone symbol. As far as it sounds, eh. Clearly a professional ozone sounds better. But I do like the little trashy sound that this symbol has. I think if utilized correctly, it'd be a great accent symbol. You know the deal. Like the video, maybe leave a comment. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you hated it. Doesn't really matter, just comment. Let's get the community flowing. Give me some ideas if you have any ideas. I'm always working on projects, so there's plenty more videos coming.